warm up, Gene, but... something like that. Let's look. Here's the big picture. Get a lay of the land here. The west, not as active. A lot of moisture moving in. Higher elevation snow. Not much happening in Texas. You will see a little light snow here. All eyes here on this system. That's the, the big story here. A lot of frozen precipitation beneath all of this and some snow. This thing is going to track right up through the northeast. Let's kind of break it down bit by bit. First of all, look at the southeast. Here's where we're seeing the major problems tonight. Plenty of moisture in place. It's moving on to the northeast. Now, when it gets to the northeast, what it meets up with, cool area of high pressure, lots of cold air in place. So that's going to mean a lot of frozen precipitation, some in the form of snow, and some in the form of freezing rain. So it's going to be quite interesting to watch it. Here's what we can kind of expect here, kind of a wintry travel forecast, if you will. All this area here will see some snow as it pushes up. And then changing over to a mix of frozen precipitation for a while, then eventually over to all rain. Uh, Portland might stay a mix, but everybody here, uh, Boston, uh, Providence, on down to uh, New York City, even Philly, will eventually see this whole system change over to rain. So hang on through the rough stuff, and then you'll see the rain. In South Carolina, Greer, South Carolina, still reporting some freezing rain, all of this in the form of rain. Now, from Raleigh eastward, that's where you're seeing the rain currently from west of Raleigh, especially at Winston-Salem, that's where we're seeing still some freezing rain into this region. Quite a sloppy night. Some places, I understand, around Winston-Salem, one to two inches of frozen, uh, freezing rain uh, stacked up. So you are seeing a lot of it there. On into Virginia, here we are seeing kind of a mix of some snow in some spots and still a little freezing rain around Danville. And get up into northern parts of Virginia, there you're seeing this fall in the form of snow. Some snow and maybe a little rain mixed into West Virginia. Now in Pittsburgh, you've been seeing the freezing rain for quite some time tonight. Now, most of this is changing over into the form of snow. We're receiving a lot of reports of snow from the uh, Pittsburgh area. Let's move back a little bit to the west. Not as significant, but still some snow falling. And not real major snow, uh, but Cleveland, light snow. This is precipitation not as significant. And uh, just kind of some light snow for Cleveland. Back around Columbus dropping down here. Uh, kind of a rain event. Still a little rain in the eastern parts of Kentucky. And you've seen a few flakes around Fort Wayne and Indy throughout the night. Let's talk about what's happening in the other parts of the country. With that, here's Gene Rubin. Well, Paul, the rest of the country is pretty quiet, actually. Look at all these clear skies from Denver and uh, Salt Lake City over to maybe Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, Tucson, Arizona, San Diego, La Jolla, up to San, uh, San Francisco. Lots of clear skies in the western part of the country, so that's where the quiet weather is. Even the clouds here in the uh, deep south, southern plains, not producing much precipitation at this time. On the surface map, we have a weak frontal system moving in the northern plains, again, very quiet in the west and the central part of the country for the most part. This week low, the uh, surface reflection of an upper low moving through the Rio Grande River Valley, causing some light rain around San Antonio, some light snow around Lubbock. The energy from this is going to move into the Gulf, develop another wave along this front, producing some more moderate rains to occasionally heavy rains in the southeast. And that you'll see in your forecast. I don't want to jump too far ahead of myself. Here's that cold front, a weak front, a few flurries here and there from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, over to Pierce, South Dakota, and that is really about it. As we look at the western part of the country in detail, high pressure, of course, circulation around the high clockwise, producing an offshore flow, a warm air flow. It will be warm and sunny, relatively speaking, in L.A., for example, tomorrow. And a few rain snow showers continue around uh, Astoria, up to Eugene and Portland at this time. The weather out ahead of that front, but amazingly enough, for you know, one of the coldest times of the year, at least on paper, climatologically speaking, temperatures were pretty mild. As we look at the wind chills, 16, that's the way it feels like in Atlanta. It feels colder in Atlanta than it does in Boston and New York right now. It actually feels warmer in Chicago than it does in hot Atlanta. Sort of an upside-down situation. Paul? Okay, let's hit it.